Hi everyone, welcome back to AfroMD. I'm sorry, it's been a really long time since my last video. Med school has just been really busy. Today I'll be talking about how to get into medical school. So in terms of getting into medical school, there's just a couple really important things that are important to keep in mind and they can be broken into various different categories. Well, first we'll start with the grades and the coursework. So typically to apply to medical school, everyone has to do certain um, requirements. So most requirements center around two semesters of biology, two semesters of chemistry, two semesters of physics, two semesters of organic chemistry, one semester of biochemistry, two semesters of a math, two semesters of an English. So when you take all of those in um, together, that's typically what you need to apply to medical school. Um, and so a lot of people will tell you that your grades are not like all of your application and while that is certainly true, um, grades are definitely very important to applying to medical school and it's definitely important to keep that in mind. So when medical schools look at grades, they look at two things. So they look at, well actually they look at three things. So they look at your overall GPA, then they look at things that constitute your science GPA. So those are all the sciences you took plus math courses. Uh, called the BCPM GPA, which is biology, chemistry, physics, and math. And then they also look at your everything other GPA. So they'll take out um, your science classes and then just look at your over your GPA, subtracting your minus course or subtracting your science courses rather. So in terms of grades, it's just really important to do as well as possible. But it's definitely okay to not get an A in every class. I didn't get an A in every science class. Um, and you know the better you can do the better off you'll be but it's definitely okay to not you know ace every class um, next is your extracurricular activities so extracurricular activities I think it's really important to honestly do whatever you're passionate about you don't have to be involved in medically related clubs to, to you know get into medical school actually when I was applying um, I spent a lot of time and worked my way up in leadership uh, in student government and also worked my way up in leadership uh, in the black student organization at my university and aside from that um, it was really important to show that I volunteered so I volunteered for um, an entire year at the hospital that was at my undergrad um, and on top of that I did research every summer that um, after under or throughout undergrad and then it just for research it's really important it doesn't necessarily matter how long you've done it but it just matters that you've done something that you can talk about substantially and that you know you weren't just like pipetting for like six months or a year without knowing like what you were really doing it's just important to be able to show your contributions to the lab and why that was a worthwhile experience for you so that's it for extracurricular activities also obviously part of your application is your MCAT and um, the MCAT is I mean, without saying a very important test and is something that really can help to determine like where you look at but again the MCAT is not the end-all be-all I'm um, obviously scoring higher is better but um, for taking the MCAT I think it's best to take it after you've taken most of the courses so definitely would suggest taking it after biochem some people have taken it while taking biochem or before biochem and I've just studied for that section, which is for me. I took it after I took biochem and I thought that was just the easiest way to navigate that sort of like situation. Next, recommenders. So it's really important to pick the people who are writing your recommendations wisely because you need to have in most cases at least two science professors to write letters of recommendation for you so it's really important as you're going through undergrad to keep a good relationship or your post back to keep good relationships with science professors so you have people who can speak to your specific ability to handle science courses and then aside from that um, most places have it where you can or if you're applying via a committee letter which is where your undergrad institution will prepare your application for you and then send like a joint letter to the med schools you're applying to most places will have it where like the max you can submit is like six letters typically it's four to six 
Um, but other people to write your recommendations. It doesn't have to be people in science. It can be your research mentor. It can be uh, people who worked with you in extracurricular activities. It can be your own bosses. Um, but getting a diverse mix of people to write them, I think, is the best way to do it. I had a business professor write one of mine. I had the faculty advisor for the Black Student Organization write another one of mine. I had my research mentor write one. I had my organic chemistry TA write one. Um, yeah, so just like a wide variety. So aside from all these things, when like putting together your application for medical school, it's really important to consider what makes you stand out and to try to build your application around you know why you are a unique medical school candidate and what you would specifically bring to medical school so let's say you know you volunteered um at a hospital for all four years and you know being able to see like different aspects of patient care just really reinforced your desire to be a doctor and you know taught you skills to be able to navigate patient encounters and be a successful physician you know that's something you want to focus on but it doesn't matter if it wasn't medically focused my application was actually uh actually centered around how being like the leader of the black student organization showed me how that would help me become a better doctor you can really write about anything so when applying, different schools have different policies. So it's really advisable just to know what your undergrad institution does because some people you have to start putting your application together more than a year in advance before you apply. So just check in with your institution to see what the process is, especially if you're taking a gap year or more than one gap year. I think that's all I can think of now, but if there's more things I haven't addressed, please let me know. And thanks for watching.